So we are uh, on board of uh, MSC Lyrica with Mr. Angelo Capuro, the executive director of uh, MSC Cruises. Uh, Mr. Angelo, uh, two years during the pandemic cruise industry was uh, out of the business. Now you are coming back. Can you tell us a little bit about that? You know, uh, thank you very much for asking. And that, and uh, I mean, the, the things that, that, that I would like to say first, uh, firstly, and uh, finally, we we are here in uh, in Greece. After this is a, a dream that comes true because uh, is a is a project that was there even even before the pandemic. We just postponed because of uh, as you can imagine uh, some reason <laughs> because something happened in the last two years. Uh, actually, you know, we uh, we start uh, uh, quite quite soon. Uh, not with all our fleet uh, after during the pandemic so because uh, MSC as a company was the first company that start again the operation uh, thanks to our protocol so because we put in place a, a very strict protocol in order to uh, to be accepted by the different government where we want to deploy the ship. So we started in August 2020 and this is just, uh, I mean, one of the last step uh, coming back to the normal uh, deployment with all the ships up and running because uh, this summer we will have all our ship again on sales in every single area. Uh, but this is a, a, a a plan that we did starting from the beginning there was a step-by-step -step plan we passed through a winter where we had 13 ship out of 19 that uh, that we have actually in our fleet and now finally we have we are all our ship up and running and uh, finally we are here for the first time Imperius as uh, on port and so easy. you were the first cruise company that started cruising again after the pandemic Absolutely. and now you start uh, your first cruise uh, boarding from Piraeus, Piraeus as a and it's board. going to be every every Monday. This there one. will be every Monday. There okay. will be for 28 uh, rotations, so it's very long, uh, long uh, season, and uh, they will be uh, important for us because uh, uh, it's uh, a really interesting itinerary, uh, very rich, and there will be an opportunity not only for. Uh, for the, all the international uh, uh, passenger, customer that we have all over the world, they love Greece and they love uh, Israel, they love uh, Turkey, but uh, also for the local markets and to develop Great. together with our partners uh, uh, the cruise industry here. Great. And I heard you earlier saying that uh, for 2023 you have more plans Absolutely. for this specific we, itinerary. We will, uh, we will increase our capacity is because uh, we are looking at this uh, this area like uh, like uh, uh, a strategic area of development. So this year we will have a Lyrica class, even if it's one of my favorite uh, uh, ship is uh, smaller than the others. Next year we are already plan to have uh, a Messi Musica that will have uh, 600 passengers more than the actual ship. So it's a huge uh, increase that uh, will uh, they give uh, to all of our partners and to all our guests uh, the dimension of how much we believe uh, on this uh, product. What, what are your expectations for, for this specific itinerary for, for Greece and Turkey you know, and Haifa? Actually, what is your expectation? Actually, uh, and that's why my my boss uh, already gave me the possibility to to increase for the next year is uh, uh, lyrica is actually in terms of occupancy the best uh, within the the med so is the is the, the ship that uh, has uh, the uh, they already start to sell a lot compared to the other to the other ships around and uh, this is a uh, 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 very interesting for us uh, and this brings us a very high expectation for sure we have uh, a huge potential in all the places where we are going to embark, even if it's not the home port, because the home port is Piraeus, is Greece. But even in, out of Haifa, we have a lot of Israeli that are love, they, they love this project and this itinerary. And they, so they, they, we have a lot of booking even coming from them, but also from Kuzadazi and from uh, uh, Cyprus. So that's, that's give us a variety of potential uh, source market. And this is uh, an additional opportunity for us because when uh, because even if uh, we are in the end 
let's let's say like this even if I need to touch wood but uh, in the end of this uh, two years difficult year uh, we still have a problem from uh, uh, long haul uh, uh, countries no so the Americans the Australians are, are, are a little bit late uh, to take the decision to fly uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, away and uh, that, that's why this, this year we are counting much more on the Mar uh, market that are close by the embarkation port. Are you are you cruising only in Mediterranean? You see, we are so we are we are cruising everywhere. Okay. Uh, during the winter, we are cruising in uh, uh, South Africa. We are leader. We are the number one. And we are the only company in South Africa. Next year, we will have next winter. We will have two ships instead of one. One out of Ca Cape Town. The other one out of Durban. Then we have South America. We are leader in South America in terms of number of ships that uh, we deploy. We are we are <clears throat> we are having um, cruise in the in the what we call uh, South uh, uh, Caribbean, so uh, the, the European uh, island. Then we have Miami. Uh, we will have next year New York. Uh, we we have uh, uh, North Europe in even in the winter because it's a very interesting itinerary because you can visit different uh, uh, capitals, uh, European capitals only with one one uh, cruise. Uh, we have the Med, we have Dubai, and we have the Sea. So we have a huge number of uh, destinations. <laughs> very nice. And one last uh, question. Yeah. Here in Greece, we were uh, lucky to be invited by the Pame Croisiera. This. Uh, this company, how you work with them? They are great. I mean, they, they, I mean, I think that the kind of uh, enthusiasm is the one that we need. You know, the cruise industry, uh, the cruise sector is still very small in terms of percentage compared to the people that are traveling. It's very small, sure. and this is come with opportunity. But the reason why is small because no one knows. And uh, the, 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 the most important thing is uh, develop the knowledge. And uh, when you have people that work with you that have a lot of enthusiasm, is the best, uh, the best, uh, I mean, uh, medicine in order to develop the markets. And uh, we already see results uh, with uh, thanks to to Costas and to the, the all the team. So uh, I, I hope I hope that we will see uh, together an incredible growth in the next years. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank Andrew. you very thanks much. A lot. Thank you to you.